Hello everyone, my name is Ian Crow, and today I'm going to show you some problems that make Shadow Play from NVIDIA basically unusable for recording stereoscopic 3D footage. So back in the beginning of the year, I first learned that Shadow Play was going to be supporting recording stereoscopic 3D game footage, which I was very, very excited about because before that, the only alter the only thing you could use to record stereoscopic 3D footage with 3D vision was to use fraps. And fraps, while it's amazing, it's great, it does everything it needs to do, most of the time, some games have a problem where uh, fraps will just record either a black screen, a black view for one of the eye views, so half of the full side-by-side -side view will be black, or it will do something even more ridiculous, which is stretch one eye's view across the entire double-wide 3840 by 1080 frame. And obviously, both of these are unusable. So the, what makes that happen is when the game has native stereoscopic rendering, which means it is it, it, the game engine itself creates both stereoscopic views and then passes that along to the NVIDIA stereoscopic drivers. So what Shadowplay can do is record these games that have native rendering. And I'm not showing you one of those today because it doesn't it doesn't matter. This happens. This problem with shadow play happens whether you're using a game that is rendered by the Nvidia stereoscopic drivers or the in-game engine itself. So let's take a look at some footage that I recorded from Remember Me. Uh, let's just take a look at it here. This is the raw footage, half side by side format, and you can see image captured. Unfortunately, it's Kind of annoying how Shadow Play will record stuff like that. When you take a screenshot, it actually actually captures this as well, which Fraps does not. So that's irritating, but not really a big deal unless uh, you're actually recording this for some purpose to show to people. This I just recorded as a test. But uh, let's see what's going on here. So what I've done here is I've taken this video right here and I've just put it into its own 1920 by 1080 compos or uh, not a composition that's after effects sequence and then i've just gone into the effects controls made it double wide so that it takes up the entire view i've just blown it up so it takes up the entire view which is going to allow me to show you the problem in greater detail coming up in a second i've done that the same with the right view so these are slightly different views let's see if we can tell a difference right here. So this is the exact same frame. And as you can tell, there's a slight offset between the left and the right. So everything is good there. The Shadow Play does record in stereoscopic 3D. But let's take a look at not that one. And not that one. There's some nice uh, 3D vision glasses there. The original 3D vision glasses, not the 3D vision 2. That's not the subject of this video, so we'll not discuss whether one looks better than the other, though 3D Vision 2 looks better in my opinion. So we're going to take a look at this sequence here, which what I've done here is I've overlaid the left underneath the right video, and then in the right video, the top, which is on top, I've gone and I've changed the blend mode to screen. Normally it would look like just this. Obviously you can't see the left view at all. But I go to lighten or I go to screen, and it blends them together so you can see both at the same time. And it's very easy to see land, kind of landmarks in the scene, like the white tops of these poles. So you can see, they look fine here. They're aligned horizontally. The top of the left view pole is the same uh, as the top of the right view pole, and that is the way it should be. Vertical parallax is a terrible, terrible thing in stereoscopic footage. There should be zero vertical parallax in any stereoscopic image ever. The tops of objects should line up absolutely perfectly as they do here. Everything is aligned horizontally. The only difference should be in the vertical direction. One should be further to the left than the other, and one should be further to the right. And that is how you get the stereoscopic illusion. But hopefully everybody who would find interest in this video already knows that. So you can see right here, right here in the center of the bottom, these poles are no longer lined up. And what is 
what is gonna what is it gonna look like if you view this in stereoscopic 3D and you have vertical parallax? Well, it's very painful on the eyes. It is extremely, very, very, very extremely super to duper painful. And I really I cannot stress enough how much of an impact this makes on the stereoscopic 3D viewing experience. It makes it so that it's basically unwatchable over the course of an entire video. See how it's all lined up as we move through here? We're scrubbing and then boom. Now the reason it does this is because I made a... the camera starts moving faster than whatever the delay is between these the recording of these two eye images it starts moving faster so one of them falls behind you see the right uh the right image or the sorry the left image falls behind like right there it's not moving between these two frames and so they go out of sync and they continue to be out of sync and there's constant vertical parallax and now I'm focusing on just this one object because it's easy to see in this view here because it's it's white against a darker gray background. But this applies to most objects in the scene that are moving quickly. And the objects that are going to be moving quickly enough to be noticeable are typically going to be things either in the extreme foreground or in the, in the extreme background. Now there's no vertical parallax between this light pole that I can see here. But that doesn't matter because the brain picks up on all of it. It takes in the entire scene at once and any problem in any part of the scene is going to affect the comfortability of viewing the stereoscopic uh, image. So this is a problem, this losing of synchronization that caused, once I noticed it, because I tried to, uh, I tried to do a let's play of Thief, which has native stereoscopic rendering the thief that came out this year, 2014. Came out this year, right? Yeah, it did. Uh, I had to discontinue that Let's Play because I noticed this problem when I was watching back some of the footage. And there is no way to fix it. It's not like I can just offset one of these by like one frame. And this is 60 FPS as well, so we have lots of frames that we could possibly use to, to resynchronize. Yeah, this is 60 frames per second. We offset this by just a frame. And it's still got the vertical parallax. Try it in the other direction. That makes it even worse. So the losing of synchronization here is why I say shadow play is unusable for stereoscopic 3D uh, recording. Simple as that. I was on 3D Vision Live today and I saw somebody's recorded footage of uh, Dead Rising 2. And it looked okay when the their camera wasn't moving. But once he moved the camera, I saw this problem in his video. In extreme, it was extreme, it was stark. It was a big big problem that made the thing unwatchable for me because when he would do big camera swings it would either greatly increase the depth of the scene because one of the eye views is lagging behind so that creates a bigger uh, horizontal parallax which makes the uh, view appear to be deeper but also if he swung the camera in the opposite direction it would cause the opposite effect which would cause the background to appear to be moving to, uh, it would cause the background to appear to be in front of the foreground. Now, this is not what the game looked like when he was playing it. This is an artifact of the very flawed capture method of shadow play. So hopefully NVIDIA can take a look at this. I mean, NVIDIA seems to have more or less abandoned 3D vision. But please, take a look at this issue. I've shown it here. These videos should be synchronized perfectly. But on certain frames, uh, most notably this one, you can see they are not synchronized. And so you get this difference in the vertical area that is it's just terrible. It can't happen. This cannot happen. So for now, Fraps is still 
the only real way to record 3D vision footage. Take a look at this in video.